I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Well, folks, the Grand Junction Jackalopes return home to Saplesio Field looking to right this ship. And Lighting the ship is not what occurred last night against Northern Colorado. The Owls trounced Grand Junction 17 to 7 in a game at Lope starting pitcher Jonathan Tyler threw just four pitches before having to be taken out due to injury. But more than pitching, the Lopes need some work at the plate. Last year, the Lopes topped the league in all of these here categories. This year, they are dead last in the Pioneer League in hits, batting average, and runs batted in. They're not last in home runs, but then again, they have just two more than the high wheelers in three more games played. And that RBI total of 43 right here, it's 32 less than the next worst team, and a whole 114 fewer RBIs in the league leading Missoula panel heads. Plenty of time left in this season, but boy, there is a lot of work to be done for the 3 and 10 Grand Junction Jackalopes. Meanwhile, in Broncos country, the Denver Broncos have begun preparations for their 2024 campaign. Rookie quarterback Bo Nix has been showing off the arm town, of course, still in shorts, but Nix hasn't been able to throw to his number one target just yet. Cortland Sutton has been present, has not been present rather, at organized team activities as, as he searches for a new lucrative contract. But with mandatory minicamp on the way, Sean Payton believes Sutton will show up at some point. Yeah, I think he'll be here for minicamp. I mean, it's mandatory. I just know his work ethic. I, I know the player. And, you know, there's, there's a list of things that race through your mind this time in the offseason as a head coach. And, and respectfully when I say this to him, because he and I have talked, I think that'll work itself out. So um, I think he'll be here, yeah. But I, I don't know that for sure. Well, only time will tell. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.